Hi, welcome to part two, how to make a minecart printer by MS Gamer. Um, we were building this last time before I had to pause. Um, yeah, you just got kind of do it like this. Make sure this wood block, you stop it right there, and you come across like this. And you just cover that up. should look something like that. And then when you go inside, it'll look like, whoa. Cool. Now let's try printing something. Okay, you get your wool. Ouch. And what you do... Wait, oh, yeah, I remember. I know what I did wrong already. Um, let me check this one out real quick. I gotta remember how to do this. Okay. Yeah, actually, the two blocks I told you to fill up are actually supposed to be open. Well, except for that end one right there. The door has got to be covered up. But the two blocks I told you to fill up don't need to be filled up. They actually need to be open because of... <coughs> it's the easiest way to load it is, like, you know, stand up here and be sticking stuff in there. Because that's how I made this creeper. And it's pretty good for, you know, just sticking wool in there and shoving it out. Like, you know, you stick it in there and it pushes it back. You just gotta stick it on there and it'll, like, you know, print it out piece by piece. So, like, you know, you don't have to, that way you don't have to do the work of, like, having to be out here and, you know, do it. You can just stick it in there without having to actually place it. All you have to do is just place a block and it pushes it into place. Three. Oh, crap. I jacked up. Really? One, two, three, four. There, that's one side of the head. Two, three, four. The other identical. Two, three, three, four. So far, the size is the same. Now we just... Sometimes you may have to come out here like the mouse. It's kind of hard to make with this thing because, like, sometimes it'll shove it. I tried making, like, a paper feeder where it, like, comes down and then, like, goes out, like, in a real printer. Like, that's what this was originally going to be. Like, it was going to go down and it shoved it out, but I messed up on that. So now this, I use it as a loading area. Like, you're sitting up here. You can load it from up here. And so far, this printer's working pretty good. If you ever see me like doing this, this is, I'm just taking measurements, like you know. That's okay. So I need the face to be. I'm just gonna fill this in. I don't feel like having to go through the technical stuff of putting the face in. If it ever gets too fast, just stop the minecart and then 
Sometimes if you get a chest one, sometimes, or a furnace, it'll slow down just a little bit. Or on PC, hopper might work too. Oops, I wasn't paying attention. I just kept loading it in there. Oops, I probably fixed that up a little bit. There we go. Now yeah, I just gotta get a little bit more. Wool. Okay, and now you go to creeper face. Well, almost. Sometimes you might just want to, you know, fill this in right here with whatever color wool you're using. You know, this ain't a creeper how-to. I'm just showing using creeper as an example. Now let's turn off the right. Let's turn off power. Let's power down. And what I do to get it out of there so you can actually see the rest of the face is I'll put like a line of wool right there. Like that. I'll push it out. Then you do it again. The face is out now. I just need one more. Oh, and that is, and then you have your creeper. The side creeper, I know. Poor, poor creeper. I feel bad for him because he's sad for no reason. Then that's your creeper. Or whatever, and that's how to make the printer. <clears throat> and then to cover it up, you know, you can cover it up however you want it. This is just the part, you know, this is the part you need to, you know, be worried about in your design because... Without this, you know, you can make up your own rig to load it, you know, to load the wool in, but that's, that's my strategy. You can do it however you all want it. And, uh, thanks for watching.